Hi everyone! Welcome to my、uh, teaching methodology class. I'm Christine, and today I'm going to talk about total physical response, which is the acronym of TPR. Let's take a look at the background of this method.、Um, basically, this is originated from comprehension approach, and it emphasized the importance of listening for comprehension. So,、uh, some approaches under this umbrella term,、uh, the term about、uh, comprehension approach is the first one is about the natural approach, and the second one is Winans and Reese self instructional program, and then the lexical、uh, approach, and then here it comes、uh, the total physical response. Let's look at the natural approach. In natural approach. Uh, researchers uh, argue that、uh, adults still possess the ability to acquire second language, like infants, and it does not disappear in their puberty. So let's take a very quick, like, crash and theory of second language acquisition hypothesis. So this is about crash and theory of second language acquisition hypothesis, and.、Uh, The acquisition learning hypothesis means the difference between acquisition learning.、Uh, when you learn a language, it doesn't mean that you acquire a language. And also here you can see that uh, Krashen uh, proposed different kinds of hypotheses, and like、uh, the natural order hypothesis, the monitor hypothesis, the input hypothesis, and the affective filter hypothesis. So we will go.、Uh, we will emphasize on a couple of these、uh, hypotheses later on when talking about、uh, total physical response. Let's look at the background of natural approach. So basically,、uh, the focus approach is that students' development of basic communication skills through receiving comprehension input input or I plus one, and their unconscious learning is more favored than conscious learning. And、uh, it is important to boost learners' confidence and lower their anxiety, which is related to Krashen's affective filter. Then let's take a look at the originator of、uh, total physical response (TPR).、Uh, the person who proposed this method is、uh, Dr. James Asher.、Uh, at the time, he was a professor at the San Jose State University in California. And he proposed this、uh, method due to high dropout rate of second language students in、uh, in his school. He thinks that language or foreign language learners can learn language like babies, and also he argues that language learning starts with understanding and end with production. So he indicated that the fastest and least stressful way to achieve understanding of target language is to follow directions uttered. By the instructor, and also in this kind of classroom, no native language translation should be used. Let's take a look at the brain letterization of、uh, a TPR. So Asher argues that、uh, right brain learning, which means that language acquisition happens through motor motivation, so which is quite different from traditional、uh, perspective regarding language learning. So what is TPR? Let's take a look. It's a method of teaching the language using physical movement to react to verbal input in order to reduce students' inhib inhibitions and lower their affective filter. A meaning in target language can be often conveyed through actions, and also listening ability is developed before speaking. Basically, it means that students can learn a language rapidly by moving their bodies. And also, students can feel successful about language learning. Basically, in, in this kind of classroom, error correction should be carried out in an inclusive manner, and spoken language should be emphasized over written language. So, the goal of TPR is to reduce the stress, as we have seen previously in the in, on the slide.、Uh, we we want to reduce the st stress people feel when they are studying other languages. We want to encourage students to persist in their study beyond a beginning level of proficiency. So, the role of teacher here is that the teacher is the director of all students' behavior, and also the role of students here is that students are the imitators of her nonverbal model. Her here means the teacher's nonverbal model. So, 
that's the way that the scholar believes that how language acquisition occurs. So let's take a look at the design of TPR lessons. So as we can see, the ultimate aim or goal of the method or, or lessons is to teach basic speaking skills. And the major classroom activity is about imperative drills like sit down, stand up, jump, run, or uh, close the door, open the door. And the syllabus is based on, uh, is sentence based. And the primary roles are the listeners and the performers. So students are listeners and also they imitate teachers' performances and follow their students' actions or movements. So they are performers as well. And basically the way that the teacher give feedback is very similar to the way that parents give their children feedback when they say something wrong in their native language. Uh, in this kind of lesson plan, no basic text. You need to have concrete materials and realia usage in this kind of classroom. And also the conversational dialogues are delayed until almost 120 hours of instruction, as we said before. We want to teach them their speaking skills, and before they develop their speaking skills, they need to develop their listening skills. So let's take a look at the characteristics of teaching learning process. So first, the teacher will review what students have learned before. Then the teacher will give the students some new demands, and the students will do TPR with teachers, learning how to uh, move their bodies to remember the new demands. Uh, the teacher will have some role re reversal with the students and they will do the role reversal exchangeably, which means that when the students are familiar with the new demands, the teacher will say the demand and the students will do the movement to show that they understand the demand. And the last stage in this kind of lesson is that um, the students will start to read, read and write. So let's take a look at the summary of TPR. Basically here, students uh, demonstrate their understanding of the commands in order to retain them. So they need to show they understand the meaning of the demands by uh, moving their bodies. And also the main goal of this method is lower students' anxiety. So they don't have to talk or speak in the target language first, but all they need to do is to listen first. And by using TPR, teachers should make language learning fun and enjoyable and interesting for students. And also in this kind of classroom, vocabulary and grammar are emphasized over other language areas. Uh, teachers use commands to direct a behavior. For example, when the teacher walks into a classroom, he, he or she will say, be quiet or uh, stand up or sit down. It's also a way to direct students' behavior too. So basically, we teach three commands at a time. We have action sequence or operation so students know how to follow and learn the new commands. And here in this method, we want to also focus on meaning and comprehension. The students should be seated in a semi-circle so that uh, the teachers will be able to see every student and will see whether a student's movement corresponds to the meaning of the command. In this kind of uh, classroom, students' verbal response is not necessary. Of course, there are advantages and disadvantages of TPR. Uh, basically, the advantages of TPR are the following. First, students enjoy moving around the classroom, uh, so they won't get bored easily. That will keep, them, uh, keep their interest in learning the commands or a new language. So uh, basically, the teachers does not have to prepare a long lesson or spend a lot of time preparing for a classes, a lesson before it begins. And also TPR is effective for both adults and young learners, and is best suitable for beginners. However, there are a couple of disadvantages of TPR. The first one is that it can be challenging for shy students because shy students are usually afraid of, you know, uh, moving their bodies, you know, following their teacher's actions or movements in front of the classrooms. Uh, it can be quite a challenge for those uh, shy students. And uh, sometimes the, the learners may uh, come up with some rude and inappropriate language 
by learning uh, to follow teachers' commands or uh, movements. Thank you very much. This is another lesson.